Hello students, how are you today? Welcome to our math class. This is Teacher Rose and this time our lesson is about adding and subtracting fractions. Repeat, adding and subtracting fractions. Let's read and spell the vocabulary words. Add. A D D. Add. Subtract. S U B T R A C T. Subtract. Sum. S U M. Sum. Same denominator, S-A-M-E-D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R, same denominator. Newly shaded, N E W L Y S. H A D E D newly shaded plus P L U S plus minus M I N U S minus remove R E M O V E remove maintain M A I N T A I N maintain Part 1 of our lesson is about adding fractions with the same denominator Observe these fractions. They have the same denominator, 4. These two fractions, they have the same denominator, 7. These ones, they have the same denominator, 10. And these, they have the same denominator, 15. We're going to add them today. Look at this fraction. Two out of eight parts are shaded. The shaded portion is two eighths. Then three more parts are shaded. The newly shaded portion is three eighths. So the total shaded portion now is, let's add two eighths plus three eighths equals what do you think 2 plus 3 you are going to add up the numerators then maintain the denominators so what's the answer 2 plus 3 equals 5 then copy the denominator it's very easy right next what is the sum of 4 twelfths and 6 twelfths? Look at this one. This is 4 twelfths and this is 6 twelfths. Let's add them. 4 twelfths plus 6 twelfths equals 4 plus 6 equals 10. Then maintain the denominator or copy it, which is 12. What is the answer? 10 twelfths. Now, you are going to simplify it or make it into the simplest form. And the simplest form of 10 twelfths is 5 sixths. Do you get it? Good. Part 2 of our lesson is about subtracting fractions with the same denominator. Look at these fractions. What have you noticed? Yes, you are correct. They have the same denominators. Let's subtract them. Look at this fraction. 
11 out of 14 parts are shaded. The shaded portion is 11 fourteenths. Students, what is this fraction? 11 fourteenths. Now, four of the shaded parts are removed. Look here. One, two, three, four. So, four fourteenths is removed. Let's subtract the fraction. 11 fourteenths minus 4 fourteenths equals... Alright, you are going to subtract the numerators and then maintain the denominator. So how is it? 11 minus 14 is 7. Then maintain or copy the denominator. That is 7 fourteenths. But you can still simplify or make 7 fourteenths into the simplest form. And the simplest form is 1 half. Alright, do you get it? It's very, very easy. Alright, let's practice. What is 7 twelfths plus 4 twelfths? Okay, let's solve for it. 7 twelfths plus 4 twelfths equals, can you guess? 1, 2, 3. You are correct. It's 11 twelfths. Say the answer. It's 11 twelfths. What is the sum of 6 ninths plus 2 ninths? Can you solve for it? 1, 2, 3. You're correct. 8 ninths. Let's read the whole answer. The sum is 8 ninths. What is the sum of 1 sixth plus Four sixth. Solve for it. One, two, three. The correct answer is five six. Let's say it. The sum is five six. Very good, students. Another practice. What is five eighths minus four eighths? Solve for it. All right. One, two. 3. The correct answer is 1 8. Let's read. It's 1 8. What is 6 elevenths minus 3 elevenths? Let's do it. 6 elevenths minus 3 elevenths equals 1, 2, 3. You are good. The answer is, it's 3 elevenths. What is 7 tenths minus 2 tenths? 7 tenths minus 2 tenths equals 1, 2, 3. Very good. It's Five tenths. Good job, kids. Well, that is all for today. Don't forget to answer your worksheets, okay? I'll see you again next time. Bye.